me, pardon me, naka-on-mute po pala ako. Isang napaka-napaka-napakagandang hapon po sa inyong lahat, everyone. Welcome to the fifth episode of our show entitled Sweet Talks by Philippine Hotels Directory, where we talk to hotel and business owners, vloggers, and renowned personalities to guide us in this ever-changing world of traveling and lounging. For today's episode, we're going to the nation's capital. That's right, we are going to Manila. But before we proceed, no, let me introduce my, myself first. I am Kim Desus, and I will be your host for today's episode. Ayan. Para po sa ating mga FB Live audiences po dyan, no, kindly react, share, and leave a comment for shoutouts or questions po mamaya for our guest for today's video. Ayan, episode. Magbabasa po tayo ng ilan, ano. Meron po rito si Miss Ina Gons. Good afternoon daw po. Good afternoon po sa inyo, Ma'am Ina. Sila Samantha Halo. Yan, nagpaulan naman siya ng Yellow Hearts. Si Michelle Gama, nagpaulan din siya ng Hearts. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po. Again, react, share, and leave a comment po for more engagements para po marinig ang ating usapan for today's episode. Ayan, in our last episode po, no, we were fortunate enough to talk to Camp Paraiso. Sa Nueva Ecija po yun, no, with Mr. Mark and Mr. Jamar. And if you are watching po, no, mga sir, hello po niya sa inyo sa Nueva Ecija. Ayan, for those who weren't able to watch our previous episode, kahapon po yun, you may visit our official Facebook page. It's Philippine Hotels Directory. Kung sa inyo po ito napapanood, ayan po, i-visit nyo lang po yung video tab para makita nyo po lahat ng aming past episodes. I-visit nyo na rin po ang aming other social media accounts posted po dyan. Kindly follow us po ha, sa FB and Instagram, ay FB and YouTube po, Philippine Hotels Directory, sa IG po at sa TikTok, at ph underscore hotels directory at syempre, syempre, syempre po ang aming website www.philippinehotelsdirectory.com Again, our official website po www.philippinehotelsdirectory.com Again, ini-invite po namin kayo to react, share, and comment on our FB Live para po mas marami po tayong ma-reach na makikinig po at matututo po tayo ngayon sa ating usapan with our guests. Now, Proceed po tayo, no? Some of you might ask kasi, magtatanong, ano po ba yung Philippine Hotels Directory? Ano ba yung Sweet Talks? Well, PHD po is your online booking companion. Why? Because PHD po consolidates all the best hotel offers for your best getaway. Ayan. We also operate po, no? A website that gives visibility and exposure to hotel businesses po, especially for our official hotel partners. Ayan. Our goal po kasi is to help promote the hotel industry in the country by providing them a platform for inline companies in the Philippine hotel industry. Diba? And under PHD po, no? Philippine Hotels Directory, we have these sweet talks, ang ikalimang episode po, where we interview and listen to different well-known hotel owners in the Philippines. Ang angas, diba? Kasi nga, at PHD, we value your comfort. Ayan. Before we introduce our guest po, no, we would like to express our gratitude po muna to our major, major sponsors and partners for making this show possible. Maraming maraming salamat po sa Wedding Suppliers Association of the Philippines Incorporated, onlinepasalubong.com, sa Mobile Palengke po, the Real Estate Directory, Philippine Travel Expo, ang Alabang Estate Realty Directory, ang Philippine Malls Directory, ang Philippine Virtual Expo, ang Pa Home Service, Med Resorts Medical Services, Accounting Portal Philippines, at ang Philippine Workshops. Ayan. For our audiences po, ah, in case you want to ask something from our guest po, ah, don't hesitate po. Leave it in our comment section during the show. Or if we don't have some questions naman, no, you can also comment anything naman na you want to say to our guest and makaka-improve pa ng ating conversation for today. Ayan, of course, there will be an allotted time for the Q&A portion, as always, towards the, the latter part of our program. Again, may we request everyone to react, share, and comment po on our FB Live today so that everyone po no, will get a chance to ask their questions too. Now, huwag na po natin patagalin, no? I know you are all excited to meet our guest for today. And sa ating mga viewers, I know excited na rin kayo eh. If yes po, no? Pakiulan po kami ng heart emojis dyan, ng love, reacts, and all po to show your appreciation po for today's episode. So without further ado po ah, ito na po ang ating guest for today. He became a director of sales and marketing at the age of 29. He has, he has a proven track record of successfully leading sales and marketing teams both in the Philippines and abroad. He has worked for various local and international hotel brands offering 
economy to upscale accommodation. Besides, he was once part of the sales and marketing team of Pan Pacific Manila, Sofitel Philippine Plaza, Chun Hotels Philippines, Resorts World Manila, at ang Soler Resort and Casino. Ayan. Before moving back to the Philippines noong 2020, he held the position of Director of Sales and Marketing at Grand Mercure, Yangon Golden Empire, a five-star property managed by Accor Hotels. Let's all welcome our guest for today, Sir Carlo Cruz. Let's give him a warm virtual round of applause, please. Hello po, Sir Carlo. It's our pleasure Hi, po, ah, to you, meet you. Good afternoon, Kim. Yes po, it's our pleasure po to meet you this afternoon. And maraming maraming salamat po sa pag-accept ng invite for Sweet Talks 5th episode po. Kayo po ang panlima naming guest for today. So sir, may I ask lang po, no? Excited po ba tayo? Kinakabahan po ba? Or both? Um, Both, I guess. Um, I haven't been interviewed here as much as I was interviewed in Yangon. So medyo kabado. Um, but... Um, <laughs> We'll make it fun. <laughs> yes, sir. Of course. And if you don't ma uh, mind me asking, sir, no, where are you na right now, Puba? Right now, I'm in the office in Discovery Suites, Ortigas. Yes. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat po muli, no, sir. So, of, of course, for our FB Live viewers, no, matututo po tayo ngayon with our conversation po with Sir Carlo nga po ng Discovery Suites Manila. So let's proceed na po no, sir para wag na po natin sayangin yung panahon no. Let's start po kasi we are ready to learn na po from you and the company po sir. So ito na po sir no to begin po no the basics no for starters. Can you please tell us a short background po on how the hotel started, the history, what year po siya nagsimula and bakit yung po yung name niya? Ganun po. Well, the, the hotel, Discovery Suites, is part of um, a bigger group, a local um, and all Filipino um, local, local hotel chain, which is the Discovery Hospitality. Um, we have properties, as you know, in Palawan, um, which is Club Paradise. We also have one in, Discovery, in Boracay, which is Discovery Shores. And we also have one in Makati, which is Discovery Primea. But um, the the flagship, um, the flagship property was um, Discovery Suites, which um, was opened in um, in 2000, year 2000, February 14. So whenever we celebrate um, Valentine's Day, we also celebrate our anniversary. So we just um, celebrated our 22nd um, anniversary uh, last February, and um, it's also um, happy to know that. After 22 years, we're still here um, and growing, and uh, we still have a lot of um, plans for the future. Like as a group, um, it's a it's a 220 um, key all suite property um, that is very much known for its generous space, um, perfect for a uh, group of friends or families, and we also have Ayan. our our very popular. Um, steakhouse, which is 22 Prime, located at the 22nd floor of um, the Discovery um, Center or, the, the, or the, the building. Indeed, sir. And as, as I was browsing po, no, through your website, your FB pages and all, truly spacious. At isa po, ah, babanggitin ko lang po to our FB Live viewers na Discovery Suites Manila is multi-awarded po. No? Some of their awards lang po, ah. Top 100 Philippine Hotels, kasama po sila sa listahan na yon ng Travel Now Magazine yan po ay 2015 pa. From 2012 to 18 po, pasok po sila sa Trip Advisor Certificate of Excellence. Meron po sila noon. At ito pong 2021 lang po, no, yung Trip Advisor Traveler's Choice for 2021. And buhati na rin po natin yung 22 Prime. Yan po ay multi-award din po, multi-award din po ng various ano, no, awarding bodies din po. Truly, masasabi natin na uh, ang service... Um, complementary yan, no? hindi yan porket uh, sinabi lang natin na awarded sila. It shows no? na dapat uh, totoo na ipinararamdam din natin sa ating mga prospective customers and yung mga pupunta pa nga, no? na dadagdag pa na ating possible tourist, travelers and all. So sir, itawid ko lang po, no? what should tourists or customers or travel travelers like me po ba could expect when it comes to your hotel po sa Dis Discovery Suites Manila? Discovery Suites is very much um, popular to the local um, the local guests or both local and foreign guests because of the very 
um, warm Filipino hospitality that's basically um, rooted in being a um, local brand. That's and, and that's what Filipinos are known for. So that's basically what um, what Discovery Suites capitalized on when it when it started, and um, it really it really aims to um, showcase the Filipino the Filipino hospitality that is known not just here but not just here in Asia but also around the world. Um, to 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 add to the the accolades that we um, we received um, in 2021, we were also part of the Asia's top um, hotels by uh, the Reader's Choice Awards of um, the Condé Nast Traveler. So it actually is, it's actually a testi testament of um, the tradition of um, service and the quality of um, the accommodation that we provide to our guests. Ayan, indeed, with those accolades, yung hospitality, yung service, it all, ano no, it all goes to yung satisfaction of customers. Kasi we believe naman po talaga na dapat in uh, providing satisfaction, we go beyond expectation po ng mga customers. What would you say about that, sir? We need to go beyond expectation. Yes, we always have to um, go the extra mile, especially now that um, the competition in the industry is tougher with the very little business that we are sharing with the rest of, for example, the, the hotels in Ortigas area or the rest of Metro Manila. It becomes an imperative for, for hotels to do their best and um, stand out uh, because there's like a thousand or um hundreds of thousands of rooms available in the city right now and um for you to be chosen you have to have something that's that's uniquely yours or um something that's needed and uh wanted by 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 your mark by the market right now exactly po, sir carlo and speaking of needing to stand out or standing out what's the best part of your hotel po kaya that you think is the heart of your hotel operation and why would you say so po well the pa the pandemic has proven that um the people be in in the front of the house back of the house in the heart of the house of discovery suites these are the true um the true um assets the true assets of of the property and um they they go beyond their their usual um tasks like when they when we had to pivot to accommodating um quarantine uh, quarantine guests because we are a multi-use we were awarded the multi-use um hotel certificate so we were catering to both non-quarantine and quarantine it's not the, it's not easy for them to get out of their comfort zone and take the risk of the positive the, the, the risk of getting infected because they were dealing with um, potential um, potential um, carrier of COVID-19. So that's um, that's one thing that actually um, is admirable um, and as the base the basically the main asset of the property it's, it's the people. I do agree, sir, no? Kasi aside from the property, its prime location, the food that it offers, amenities and all, it is the staff, obviously, which is yes. a, a part of the heart of your hotel operation because without them naman, Discovery Suites Manila is not there to serve us and to satisfy us with our needs and wants. And for That's that, true. sir, no? Can you tell something about how many people can Discovery Suites Manila accommodate so that our viewers, lalo na po, pag sila within the area, no, madagdag po nila sa bucket list at makapunta po sila dyan sa Discovery Suites Manila. Come again, what's, what's the question again, Kim? Basically, sir, I was asking po of the yung accommodation, how many people is uh, possible to be accommodated po in your hotel po. Okay, as mentioned during the introduction, we have um 220 all suite um property or all, all suite rooms um 
the biggest um, room that we have can accommodate about six persons. And that's our three-bedroom suite. Um, we have limited of that. But usually it sells out on weekends because families would want to go out of their homes, experience something new, create new memories. Um, that's why we are um, the perfect, I must say, um, accommodation for staycation, especially for families who would actually want to reconnect, um, bond again after being isolated for, all, for more than two years. Ayan, that is correct po, no? And knowing na families and might be yung corporate events are nag open na rin po, no? Knowing na leisure demand is returning more quickly than corporate and group demands, how do you attract those two market segments po ba? Kasi leisure, yung mga uh, staycation po yan. Ang corporate and group demands naman po, yung mga may corporate events na nagbubuk po yan sa inyong area. So again, how would you attract these two market segments po? Well, I have to say that there is um, the, there is a benefit. Um, we, we benefit from um, being um, a 22-year-old property, I must say, um, because Discovery Suites have, has been um, a popular uh, brand when it comes to Ortigas, when it comes to the Ortigas area. Um, to attract that, we have um, we have a very experienced sales and marketing team, and um, I'm I'm proud of my team who's been um, exceeding uh, expectations. Um, luckily, we are getting a good share of of the leisure market as well as the corporate market, and it's a good sign because um, it means that the confidence of uh, the the confidence in traveling is gradually coming back. It's not, it, it may not be abrupt, but it's um, slowly coming back. And um, I think all the hotels are experiencing um, some sort of um, travel, re revenge travel, um, especially from the leisure market, from the local market. And that's, that's a positive, um, positive signal that um, the industry is um, gearing towards um, real recovery, and I hope it con it continues um, from from today on uh, onwards or in the coming months. Ayan, and we at PhD rin po, no, would like to echo that um that sentiment na sana nga po tuloy-tuloy na po itong pag reopen natin safely and securely. And it shows po, no, yung being in the game for 22 consecutive years, the accolades, the awards, and yung mga pagkilala po truly isa po itong Discovery Suites Manila na pupuntahan po ng mga tao. And sir, talking about yung uh, iba't ibang um, competition dyan po sa Ortigas area, being a busy area as we know it, what do you think po is your edge, the edge of Discovery Suites Manila compared to other, other hotel businesses that offers the same service as you do? Well, um, that the quality of the service will always be very personal when it comes to discovery suites. I haven't I haven't really tried um, staying with staying with the rest of the com our competitors here in Ortigas but that's one thing that um, guests would always tell us that um, we extend very warm and friendly service, very personalized. Um, I guess it's also um, it's also good that um, we're in, in the center of everything. Um, we are just across um, the malls, the big malls, the biggest malls in, in the area. We're a stone's throw away from um, a, hosp a, a, a renowned hospital, um, very accessible to um, public transport, um, EDSA, um, walking a short walking distance to corporate offices for for corporate clients who would want to stay with us um, and a lot more for example we, they can go um, explore the area of Pasig where we have Capitolio um, like the food strip in Capitolio um, the newest um, 
destination, which is the Rizal area, would always be very accessible from um, from Ortigas. So there's a lot more to Ortigas to be explored. Um, and I think the, the needs and wants of our clients are basically um, just very accessible so this this what um what makes um what make us stand out from the rest ayan and knowing that you are in the heart of a busy business center or busy uh, business district po no iba po yan kasi parang in marketing no we have this seven piece some say four piece isa po dun yung place strategic place positioning po ng isang business na pinuputap, kagaya po ng Discovery Suites Manila. And you mentioned po yes. something about warmth, yung, 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 yung quality of service. People um, people would always come back to a place na alam nila sila ay parang parte ng memory na yon, parte ng certain time period that they have stayed in your area. And if I were to go no go to some of your services po, no? you offer yung social events, meron pong debut, yung child parties, weddings, meron din pong corporate events. Could you uh, tell something about that po, sir, briefly? Well, we, we have a um, total of eight um, med small to medium-sized um, meeting rooms or function rooms. And um, we also um, accommodate uh, social gatherings like uh, debut, birthday parties, Intimate weddings right now, uh, we're starting to receive some some small events, small intimate weddings. We also uh, accommodate corporate gatherings from um, various local and international um, companies. And um, we basically provide the food and all the, ne the, necessary, um, the necessary equipment and uh, amenities that they need to make their events very successful and memorable. You wouldn't believe that um, sometimes in, in, in our 22 years of um, existence, there will be um, returning returning clients from um, event clients who had their wedding here and then coming back for their child's baptismal or first um, birthday. And that's, wow, um, that's, good. that's actually a, a a good um a good a, a testament or a confirmation that we really did something um we really did something remarkable or um well in their um in their lives so parang part na kami uh, discovery suites have have been um discovery discovery suites have has been a part um of their momentous um events yes again remarkable service would bring customers back and back time and time again True. as we mentioned po no those are major and little successes no na so to speak but there are these problems din po no can you give us some problems discovery suites manila have experience in this kind of business industry in this ongoing pandemic and how did discovery suites manila overcame it well i i think it's no um it's not um, not only for for the hospitality industry, but I think um, a lot of other industries experience difficulty, especially during the pandemic. So um, there, we we had to um, let go of some um, some people. We had to tighten our belts um, to make sure um, we 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 still um we're still profitable at the end of the day um and we have to really adapt to the changes in the operations before um we wouldn't have the the um stand the hygiene and safety standards that we have right now for example the alcohols in in every rooms or um the checking of temperature um the now um that uh when when we had the quarantine um the quarantine guests you uh we weren't allowed to go inside their rooms to do to to make up their rooms um we we're not we were not allowed to um 
to have contact with uh, with the guests so that was that was the challenging part because i still believe that the hospitality um industry is unique for its requirement to have that human touch it's basically exactly. um hospitality can never be hospitality without a person or a human interacting with another human so it's the most challenging part kasi parang yung essence of of the industry was taken away for a bit but now um as i said it's coming back and we're happy we're happy with the developments Ayan, human interaction indeed is needed nga naman when we talk about yung hospitality um, industry and yung businesses. But sir, no, how did your hotel, Discovery Suites Manila, maintain the health and safety protocols amidst the pandemic? Kayo po ba, for some time, ay naging plastic world, so to speak, yung acrylic barriers, alcohols and all, yung sanitation, um, sanitation boots and all. Sige po, sir. Yes. Um, you, prob you probably heard it or heard the same from the other interviews. We had to comply um, to this stringent um, safety and um, health protocols simply because um, it was a requirement for us also to, um, to get the safety seal. The safety seal was very important for hotels because um, that was the that was one of the requirements for you to be able to operate um, during the pandemic. Um, that was uh, a proof that you follow the standards set by the Department of Health and the Department of Tourism and the Bureau of um, Quarantines when it comes to the control of the COVID nineteen um, spread. So that's uh, no that's um, a requirement. It's it's not optional. And um, we had all those plastic barriers, um, yung non-contact um, food deliveries, etc. Um, as part of our uh, operations during the pandemic, we had to adapt because that's the only way to survive. Exactly, we need to adapt to survive. Again, mentioning about safety seal, yung po kasi for me, no, I think na rin po, no, for our FB Live viewers, that is to ensure yung safety and confidence dun sa property na pupuntahan natin. So, sir, if I were to ask po, kasi merong instances, di ba, sir, advanced booking and all. So, going back po, no, kung babalik tayo nung March 20, uh, 2020, no, March 17, bago mag-lockdown, uh, pa paano po, paano po na-cater yun ng Discovery Suites Manila? Ito po ba ay kinancel ng iba or sabi nila hindi po, nauunawaan namin, ah, magpapareschedule na lang po kami? Well, when it comes to cancellations, the hotels, not just in the Philippines, but um, I think globally, um, became very flexible when it comes to um, cancellations. But um, for us in the industry, we encourage guests to rebook it instead to a, a later date instead of cancellation because cancellation meaning um, you have to return their money. Um, there's no more guests. You're not expecting uh, a guest anymore. Unlike if you're um, promoting rebooking, it's like um, postponing the, the stay, but you still get, you know, you still generate revenue um, that's, that's from a revenue um, perspective. And that's a lot better when it, when it comes to uh, putting yourself in a survival mode. Exactly. And knowing that it is a hard balancing act. Kasi po, ano ba, safety ba? Or parang, di ba nga po, ang battle cry or parang narinig natin noon, health po ba or economy? There's a thin mm -hmm. line na we need to step through at mahirap po yun. Kaya think, po, ano yung, I po. think, sige sir. But I think um, it's not that we are this we were disregarding health when, when we uh, encourage rebooking. It's more of like um, having this very very small spark of hope that things will get better and you'll get to use whatever it is that you book in the future. That's that's how we. Um, um, that's the best way to put it. 
Exactly. Parang sa may say, meron ang liwanag sa dilim. So, sir, talking about yes. that, no, pumasok na po ba sa inyong isip or yan po sa Discovery Suites Manila to totally close nga po ba? Nag-close nga po ba ang Discovery Suites Manila knowing po na nung no. mga nakaraang taon, napakalala po. Ah, uh, basically, no. hindi po siya nagsara, no? It, yes, wasn't, yes. it wasn't an option. It wasn't an option simply because of um, one, um, our owner is someone who um, values people. He, he takes care of people um, very well. And um, based on my uh, recent, recent um, conversation with him, it, it, he's the type of person who will not leave anyone behind. So as much as he can save the people, he will save the people. Um, that's how good our um, our owner, uh, Mr. Dobenchu, is. So the, the option to close the property was not even there. Exactly. Nang ganda po malaman, no? For me, as I think, as I take that statement po, no, parang yun po ay isang um, genuine leader, risk taker na leader. For you po ba, sir, niniwala kayo ng isang businessman or women ay dapat risk taker, people-centric, at merong yung pagiging ano, pagtingin sa future, no, future hindsight and all? Um, yes, those are essentials of a good leader um, to have that foresight, um, to have that um, compassion for people, um, and part of the business, kasi is the um, is the risk. So if you are not a risk taker, you cannot be a businessman. Um, what I'm say, what I mean with by by that is that you don't just you don't gamble because you're 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 sure you're gonna win. It's a gamble because there there's a pass uh, there's a possibility of losing and the possibility of winning and possibility of not gaining anything, which is um which is break even. So dapat open ka dyan, dun sa, sa possibilities na yon. Um it's um it's important, it's a, an, an important trait for business businessmen to be risk takers. Cause like what happened with COVID-19, nobody actually um, expected that or nobody saw that coming. So the, the important is when things get difficult, when things get tougher, you, you try to find ways. And that's what actually Discovery Suites did and we survived. Exactly. And all of those are part of the game po talaga, no? Either uh, yan ay nasa baba tayo, nasa ilalim tayo ng gulong, nasa taas tayo ng gulong, umiikot pa rin, basically, yung gulong. And lastly, sir, no? Lastly, what advice na po could you give to our prospective clients, travelers, and yung ating FB Live viewers who would want to book in your business po? And how will they contact you? Sige po, sir. Of course, when you when you are going to Ortigas area, it has to be Discovery Suites. Um, you can contact me for um, events or staycations or business business stays um, at carlo.cruz at discovery.com.ph. That's my email. And um, you can always check our website and um, our social media accounts for the latest promotions on food and beverage and um, rooms and um, feel free to inquire about anything that you want to do in the hotel um, we're, we're very much here to welcome you and um, satisfy your your um, craving for new environment um, outside of your home after two years. Ayan, on point. So okay po, no? we, we are officially done with the question and answer portion. No? So makakahinga na po tayo. Sabi ganun na. No? That was so inspiring po, Sir Carlo. Ha? And also inspiring din po para sa mga future hotel owners and yung maaari po na mag-venture dyan nga po. Pag sinabing Ortigas, Discovery Suites. Truly, 
We have learned a lot today. But we are not done yet po ha. We will have a quick commercial break. We will be right back with Sir Carlo. Stay with us. Sir Carlo from Discovery Suites, Manila. I'm going to read some um, comments lang po no, here in our FB Live. Sir Martin Sichon, meron po siyang clap-clap emoji. Si La Miss Inagons, nagpaulan po ng hearts. Si Mr. Rodel Maipa, good job daw po Sir Carlo, parang ganun. Bianca Baring, wow, with a, a heartfelt um, emoji po. No? Si Miss Jenny May Cruz, well said Sir Carlo Cruz. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po. Sila Kurt Vicente rin po, nagpaulan ng multicolored hearts. Sabi naman po nito, I love Discovery Suites. Indeed. Again, pag sinabi nga po Ortigas, Discovery Suites. Yun po ay galing kay Miss Maricar Cruz. Ayan. So again, maraming salamat po Sir Carlo ha, for providing us with such unique perspective and insights. And with that, we would like to award you po ha, a certificate of appreciation. Please allow me to read through the certificate. Ayan. Sa ating pong e-certificate, this certificate of appreciation is proudly presented to Discovery Suites Manila for imparting valuable knowledge and actively participating as our guest for today's episode entitled Suite Talks in Manila, given this 19th day of April 2022. Hindi po nagtatapos, ah. We would also want to award you to POA ah, for participating in this event. And here is your e-certificate naman po, no, with the same content awarded to Mr. Carlo Cruz nga po ng Discovery Suites Manila, signed by our country manager, Mr. TJ Yuson. Once again, thank you po for your time and I hope you have enjoyed our conversation this afternoon. Thank you and stay safe po, Sir Carlo. Do you have anything to say pa po, promote and say to our viewers, viewers po, sir, for the last time? Um, so again, we are inviting everyone who's watching to visit us here in Ortigas, Discovery Suites. And... Um, experience our spacious rooms, spacious suites, and um, delectable F&B offers. We have um, soon um, wait for the schedule of our unlimited stake. Um, and um, that's, um, we have our happy summer also. We're promoting our happy summer. Um, the rate starts at um, 4,888 net with breakfast. Again, once again, thank you po for your time and I hope, again, no, you have enjoyed our conversation po this afternoon. Again, thank you and stay safe po, Sir Carlo. Bye-bye po. Salamat. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. And that was Sir Carlo Cruz of Discovery Suites Manila. But before we proceed, no, gusto ko lamang pong pasalamatan at i-mention yung mga masugin nating FB Live audiences for today. Ayan, nagpaulan po rito si Miss Narisha Pablo ng White Hearts. Si Miss Jenica Melo, nagpaulan din po siya ng Red Hearts. Si Miss Mary Shireen Andar, nag under, sorry, nagpaulan din po siya ng Hearts. Si Sir Mark David Bula, maraming salamat po sir. Nicole Ann Garcia, maraming salamat po. Si Sir Martin Sichon, maraming maraming salamat po. Si Rodel Maipa, andyan po siya. Sabi naman po ni Ma'am Ina Gons, go Sir Kim, maraming salamat po Miss Ina. Si Miss Nina Dakula, nagpaulan din po ng Red Hearts. Si Miss... Um, Si Mr. Jerome Navarro Mendoza. Let's go, Kuya Kim. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. 
nakasama rin po natin dito si Miss Queenie Gao. Nagpo-land din po siya ng hearts. Nanonood din po, kasama natin si Miss Aliza Cruz. Shout out po sa inyo, Aliza. Again, kasama rin po natin si Sir LJ Bohol. Maraming maraming salamat po, Idol, sa pag-support. Again, si Miss Bianca Baring. Sabi niya, wow. Indeed. Kasi nga, sa kapag sinabi natin, uh, Ortigas, Discovery Suites Manila. Ayan. Si Sir Eric Baracina. Nagpawalan siya ng multicolored hearts. Maraming maraming salamat. Si Miss Jenny May Cruz. Nandyan din po siya. Well said daw po to Sir Carlo Cruz. Indeed. Nanonood din po sa atin si Sir Reggie Avendaño. Yan. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyo, Sir Reggie. Si Kurt Vicente. Nanonood din po sa atin. Si Miss Monicar Cruz. Si Mr. James Clark Canlas. Maraming salamat po, Sir James. Si Miss J.M. Porcalia. Nanonood po kasama natin. Maraming maraming salamat po, Miss J.M. Porcalia. Si Sir Lance Gabriel P. Bernas. Maraming salamat po. Nagpaula naman po siya ng Green Hearts. Ayan. Kasama rin po natin si Miss Cherise Cruz Mercado. Discovery Suites Heart, Heart, Heart. Ayan. Si Miss Janelle Aina Velosis. Kasama rin po natin si Mr. Henry, Richard Henry Yu. Si Miss Jaya May Ger Geraveles Cruz, maraming salamat po. Si Miss Claire Bernabe, maraming salamat po. Si Miss Joy Medoro Policarpio, maraming salamat din po. Si Miss Jenny May Cruz, sabi niya, let's go. Mismo, kapag ka sinabing Ortigas, it has to be Discovery. Gaya nga po na sinabi ni Fel DS. At ayan po, sinabi niya rito, congratulations din po. Ayan, kay Mr. Carlo Cruz. Again, maraming maraming salamat po ah, sa mga nakasama po namin for today's episode. But before we proceed po, no, we would like to thank the following sponsors for this event. Ayan na po ang ating sponsors. Maraming maraming salamat po sa Wedding Suppliers Association of the Philippines Incorporated, ang onlinepasalubong.com, ang Mobile Palengke, the Real Estate Directory, Philippine Travel Expo, ang Alabang Estate Realty Directory, ang Philippine Malls Directory, ang Philippine Virtual Expo, ang Pahome Service, Med Results Medical Services, Accounting Portal Philippines, at ang Philippine Workshops. Thank you, thank you, thank you po for supporting our event. But before we end today's event po ah, ito po ah, please support, please support our upcoming show for this week with Banawe Heritage Hotel and Museum on April 21, Thursday at 5 p.m. O, di ba? Meron agad. Kaya huwag ka na magkalala because we got you. Ayan. So, guys, check our socials na rin po, no? Again, on FB and YouTube, that's Philippine Hotels Directory. On Instagram and TikTok, that's at ph underscore hotels directory. And for our website, ang www.philippinehotelsdirectory.com. Again, for our official website, www.philippinehotelsdirectory.com One last time, www.philippinehotelsdirectory.com Ayan, and on behalf of the Philippine Hotels Directory, maraming maraming salamat po for staying with us this afternoon. And of course, to our guest, Mr. Carlo Cruz ng Discovery Suites Manila. Maraming maraming salamat po ha, in behalf of the tech team na nakasama po namin at nag-put up nitong napakagandang show na ito. Maraming maraming salamat din po sa mga namumuno sa PhD, sa Philippine Hotels Directory, kila Sir Kurt Vicente, and sa lahat po ng team na nagpapagod po para makapaghatid sa inyo ng isang magandang usapan at light conversation po na tiyak tayo natututo nun nang sabay-sabay. Once again, this has been Kim De Jesus. See you on our next Sweet Talks. Always remember, here at PhD, We value your comfort. Thank you and stay safe.